Okay, so we see a circuit here. The f we have to find the following. Uh, V1, V2, the power supplied in the 3 kilo ohm, 20 kilo ohm resistors, and the power supplied by the current source. So first thing we see is this one hole node. So let's, let's call it node A. And let's uh, write uh, directions of current. So let's call this one uh, I1. Uh, let's call this one I2. And let's call this one I3. So let's write the equation for node A. We see uh, uh, the 10 milliamp res uh, current is entering the node, and I1, I2, and I3 is leaving the node. Let's also convert everything to ohms and, and amps, because I don't like working with milli or kilo or stuff. So 10 milliamps. That's just 0 0.01 amps. And this is just 3,000 ohms, 1,000 ohms, 20,000 ohms, and 5,000 ohms. Okay? So now let's find a way to substitute uh, these I's in. Okay? So we know that since this is one whole node, we know the voltage throughout it will be the same. So let's call it VA. And since this is the ground node, there will be a voltage of zero. And since we know current goes from a high potential to a low potential, uh, it, so it will be like this. So I1 will equal, so the, cur it go the current, the voltage goes from a high potential to a low potential across the resistor. So it'll be V1, sorry, VA minus zero because it goes from a high potential, VA, and it goes all the way to a low potential, okay? And it's all over all the resistors it travels to. So it'll be 3,000 ohms plus 1,000 ohms because these are the two resistors that travel through. So that's just 4,000 ohms. I2 will be uh, VA minus zero all over 5,000 ohms. And I3 will be VA minus zero all over 20,000 ohms. Now let's substitute these into the our equation. So it'll be VA over 4,000 plus VA over 5,000 plus VA over 20,000. Let's take out a VA from all of these. Now we have 1 over 4,000 plus 1 over 5,000 plus 1 over Hold on, 1 over 20,000. Whoa. Okay. Now, let's simplify all of this up. Okay, I get an answer of 0 0.0005. Divide both sides by that, and we get our final answer of VA equals 20 volts. Now we can use that to find our eyes. Okay? So 20 over 4,000. 4, That's just 0 0.005 amps. 20 over 5,000. That's just 0 0.004 amps. And 20, 20 over 20,000. That's just 0 0.001 amps. And we have to find the voltage at this resistor and this resistor. Okay? So we know voltage is equal to IR. So voltage 1 will be equal to uh, I1 times the 3000 ohm resistor. Okay? And I1 is 0 0.005. So it will be 0 0.005 times 3000 ohms. And that gives us 15 volts. Now V2 will be uh, 0 0.001 times 20,000 ohms. And that gives us 20 volts. Okay? So and, and as you see, it matches up with what we have here. Now we have to find the power dissipated in those regions. So let me just erase all of this quickly. Okay. 
we know power is equal to voltage times the uh, current. So let's find P1. This will be P1 and this will be P2. So P1 will be equal to V1 times I1. V1 we have here, it was 15 volts. So it will be 15 times I1, which is 0 0.005. And that's 0 0.0075, sorry, 0 0.075 watts. P2 will be equal to, uh, hold on, well, okay, so P2 will be equal to V2, which is 20 volts, times the current, which is I3, which is 0 0.001. So it'll be 20 times 0 0.001, and that's 0 0.02 watts. And we have the same answer here, but just in milliwatts. Now we have to find the power supplied by the current source. That pretty much means uh, all of these, th the total power in the circuit, which is all of these combined. So we have to find this one and this one now. So first we need to find the voltage at those resistors. So let's call the one kilo ohm one P3. So we have to find the voltage. So let's call it V3. V3 will be I1 times R, which is 1,000 kilo ohm, 1,000 ohms. So I1 is 0 0.005, 0 0.005 times 1,000. And that's, hold on, five volts. Now P3, that's equal to five volts times the current, which is 0 0.005. And that's 0 0.025 watts. So V4 will be equal to 5,000 ohms times the current passing through it, which is I2, which is 0 0.004. So it'll be 5,000 times 0 0.004, which is 20 volts. So now P4 will be V4, which is 20 volts times the current passing through, which is I2, so which is 0 0.004. So it'll be 20 times 0 0.004, which is 0 0.08 watts. Now we add up all the, our power together. So P total will be 0 0.075 plus 0 0.02 plus 0 0.025 plus 0 0.08, which is equal to 0 0.20 watts. And that's what we have here, but just in milliwatts.